Hi, this is Ashley, and this is another tutorial, but this is for homework three for Postgres admin. Now for homework three, we have a couple of questions. So first, let, look, let's look at question number one, which says um, how to create or write a simple SQL select statement on the friends table. And right here, I have simply written out that code. So we'll just have to go into Postgres right over here, go down to the friends table, um, click SQL. Now let's copy this, copy this code, control C, go over here and just paste it in there and run it and let's see what we get. So now we have down here our friends table. So simply everything that we have inputted into the friends table so far. So that was easy. Now let's go to question number two, which says um, how to create a table named phone num with friends, um, person ID, phone ID, phone number that links to the friends table. Discuss what fields will relate the two tables. Okay, so now we'll go over here to Postgres and I've actually already created this but we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the steps to do so. So you'll just right click on tables and go to new table and you'll type in your information. So this one we're supposed to call this um, phone number or num, whatever you prefer. And then you have to create your columns or your different fields within this table. And you'll simply have to add them by typing in person ID. And then this will be an integer um, as we've used a person ID before. And you'll just hit OK. And then you'll go over here to add another one. And you'll have to type in phone ID. And I believe, I'm not positive, that this will be a text. I'm going to assume it's a, a text because we weren't really explicitly told that. So I'm just going to hit OK. And now I'm going to go down here and add another one. And this very last one is going to be our phone num. Oops. And the field type or the data type will be integer. And that is all you will have to do. And you'll have to go up here and hit constraints. So the one thing uh, that connects these two tables is your primary key. So if you add a primary key, we can simply type um, pk underscore, oh, this table is called phone num. So that's what we can do. And then we can select the column um, as the person ID. So this will actually connect to you to the other table that we've previously made or has already been made on this um, this people schema. If you hit add then it automatically shows up up there and you hit OK. So now you have a primary key and it's called the person ID. But since I've already done all this I'm just going to simply cancel this out but that's those are the those are the steps to accomplish that. Now let's move on to three. It says how to insert data records into friends and and phone numbers into the two tables. This can be accomplished by using an insert SQL statement. All right, well, this is pretty simple. I have the code written out here. We're just going to go to another SQL statement. So hit SQL again and copy this code. Copy the code right into here. And this code is uh, pretty, pretty simple. You just have to line up each of your values according to the table that you've created. So if I go over here to the table, let's see, go down to friends, click on the table, and go up to the table part. You can see that we have each one of these different columns that we have to address when we, when we type in our values in our SQL statement. So here's our statement and they line up. So the the person is going to be four, two, and three, and I've I've made these people already, so I'm going to just I'm going to change it up and do five, um, six, and seven, and we're just going to simply change. Let's say let's change the last name. This is going to be let's say Sarah's husband. Stephanie's husband is Ken. I don't know, and Sarah's husband is Ben. And Grace also has a husband, and his name is 
uh, let's just call him, let's call him Mark. That's pretty simple. All right, so now we have different people with, we have the, peop, the first name, the last name, the phone number, the street address, um, the second address, we're going to say it does not apply if they don't have a second address, um, the city and the state, and then the zip code. And then all you have to do is hit run, and it says that all of them, that this was executed. So if you go down here to your table and hit refresh, it'll add that five, six, and seven person PK, I, um, personal information as we typed out in there, giving their phone number and all kinds of information. So that's how you accomplish that for, for the people. Now let's look at the phone number. So if we exit out of this and we go down here to this insert part for your phone, the phone table that you just created, if you copy that, go down to, go down to the phone number here, type SQ, create an SQL, copy that in there. Now these, this will actually insert information into the phone, so let's replace these ones with numbers that we haven't typed in yet. So four, let's, let's make this number uh, a little different, and then we can go over to five, make the number slightly different, and then let's create a six, make the number slightly different, and now simply hit run. It has ran everything successfully, so now we need to go to the table and open it up, and it has added our four, five, and six that we just created. That's really convenient. So now let's look at number four, which says, asks you how to create or write an SQL select statement that queries the two tables and displays the results. So now we're gonna have to add up all these, well, show all these tables in an SQL statement. Let's just copy this code right here. Control C go over to your SQL statements, copy it in there, and now let's hit run and see what happens. All right, now if you look at the results down here, we definitely have all of our information listed. This information here first is the information we got from our friends column, and then the further information on this side is your phone number, um, phone number information that we've also created here today in this homework. Now let's move on to number five which says how to create or write an SQL state SQL update statement that updates the phone numbers of one of the friends. So we can update the number for all of the friends if we want to. I have different phone numbers listed here but let's just do one since it specifically asked for one of the friends. So you just copy this right here and we'll go over to friends. Let's do an SQL for friends. And we'll copy that into here. Now let's change the phone number to, let's see, let's say it's uh, 6748903. That's pretty silly, but there we go. So we're going to go ahead and run this. Now it has ran successfully, and we're going to go check it out in your in the friends column and see if it has changed anything. So we go to friends and we look at the the chart. Let's go over to one and yes, it sure has. It is now the number that we typed into our SQL statement here. There we go. You can see that they are the same number and it has updated it. All right, now let's move on to six where it says Write a group by statement that counts the number of times a lottery number is found for N1. This is the code, so we're just going to go ahead and copy this. And we're going to go into lottery on Postgres. I believe that's up here. Let's see. Lottery, lottery. There we go. Lottery, and we're going to go into our schema lot. And we've got one table, and then we've got lot, which has lots of columns. <laughs> okay, so we're going to create an SQL statement, which will select this. So we're going to Control-V, 
and we're going to go ahead and run it. And now you can see this is a count down here at the bottom of how many times that these numbers will occur in the, in the data that we already have into our lottery, our lottery database. So that was successful. So in one, those are the counts for each one of those numbers. Now let's do it for um, N2. So if we go down here to number 7, it asks us to do it for N2. So we'll simply copy this statement again. Control C. And we'll go over here to Lot. Do an SQL statement. Control V. And hit Run. And it'll simply do the exact same thing that we just did. And it counts up all of those numbers consecutively as I scroll down. And now let's go to 8. You can see that we have a statement here as well asking us the same question, but for, whoops, <laughs> let's undo that. But for um, number 3, so if we go back over to our Postgres and we, we open up another SQL, we can just copy that statement right in there, hit run, and it will run it for us down here. We can see the number of occurrences for each one of these numbers. And the job has been done. That concludes homework three. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for listening.